This video will show you how to field dress a porcini mushroom or Boletus edulis or also known as a sip in French or a Steinpilz in German. It cannot be cultivated. It's found only in the wild. A specialized mushroom knife to cut it and clean it. You can see the mushroom knife has a brush on one end and it has a curved blade on the other and you really want to get as much dirt off the mushroom as possible before you put it in your basket because otherwise you get all your other mushrooms dirty and the dirt gets up in the cap and makes just a filthy mess so it's always worth taking a little time to clean your mushroom before you put it in a basket. You can see I'm using the curved blade. It works really nice for trimming the mushroom and getting all the dirt off. You can also see once you get the dirt off if there's any um, points where uh, maggots have entered the mushroom and uh, you can dig in and dig any of those points out before the maggots get a chance to get in there and destroy your mushroom because they can spread very rapidly once uh, once they start getting in there. You can see me digging out a little maggot hole there. But in general, this is a really clean, nice mushroom with white uh, uh, with a white um, pores under the cap. There's a slightly older one with the yellow pores that you can see uh, next to the one that I put down. Um, but all these mushrooms are really fresh and nice and now I'm covering up the area where I found the mushroom so other people that come along don't notice that there's been a mushroom hunter here who's been successful in this area because mushroom hunters guard their treasure their secret areas like like treasures uh, it's sort of like a, a secret fishing hole only a much more secret because Porcini mushrooms have uh, a symbiotic relationship with large uh, pine trees. And when you find mushrooms in one spot one year, you're going to find them the next year and the following year. If you go back at the right times under the right conditions, you're going to find mushrooms there every year. So you don't want other people going there and uh, knocking you down, as they say. So. Um, so I'm whispering at this point because you also try and go very, very low key so people don't find out your whereabouts. I mean, you might go through the trouble of walking a mile out of your way uh, just to throw somebody off your, your trail just in case there's other people in the area. But um, and you wear camouflage and um, really try not to be seen when you're doing this. Um, I don't know how these maggots find them. It's a very quick. secretive, uh, solitary world out there uh, for mushroom collectors. You wouldn't even let your best friend know about a spot like this if you've got a really good spot. And this is my, I consider it my spot, my my tree. The mushrooms when you when you first come to the area where they're growing. You don't, you don't actually see the mushrooms. All the mushrooms in this video were uncovered. What you see is um, dome-shaped humps underneath the pine duff. And that's the mushroom pushing its way up through the, the pine duff. And usually, the good mushrooms, you're not going to see them before you dig down into the pine needles and you find them down there.